Hi folks, welcome again to the channel, Juan here from Physical Media EU. Today we have another 4K review, in this case a Rose video released for the Silence of the Lambs. Hello again and thanks for tuning in for another review, as I was saying, Silence of the Lamb released by Arrow Video. But before we start, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you are interested in physical media, especially 4K reviews, and occasionally also soundtracks on vinyl. You can also find me on Instagram with the same handle, Physical Media EU, where I post little pictures of all the items that I review. Now we can move on with the presentation of this new Arrow Video release. So this is the front, right? And here's the back, if you want to pause the video to check out more detail about the, the bonus features, this is a good time. And this release, as you can see here, uh, the spine, comes with this slip cover that other Arrow videos normally don't have. So I'm not sure if this is a new thing they are doing, but um, it is very nice, I think. So we take it out and here we are presented with a traditional full slip like previous um, Arrow releases, right? Here in the back, we see Hannibal Lecter. The spine is the same. And on the other side, you can see the, the booklet and the, and the Blu-ray case, right? So moving on, let's open this up. And here we find the booklet, the movie, and, and the poster. So let's begin with the poster, just to take it out of the way. It's a double-sided poster which has this cover and then this original one. So it's the normal quality you are used to from other Arrow releases, which is very good. The print quality is also very nice and the paper is quite thick. Now moving on to the booklet, the same as the case. We have the two characters here. And it's a 38 pages long booklet. Here you can see the contents for it. And as usual, the last point is about the restoration. So, so let's check that out real quick. And I think here the, the most important thing to, to note is that the grading review and approval was completed by the director of photography, Tak Fujimoto, which I think is important because when someone that was involved in the film is involved in the restoration that normally gives better results. Now continue with the with the booklet. Yeah, we're presented with cast and crew list here. Then there is an essay here, which is uh, four pages long. Then there are some side to side pictures here. There are one, two, three, four other essays. And then some posters here as well. And finally, production credits and thanks. So very nice, complete booklets, 30 pages long, as I said, very nice as well. Now, here is the presentation of the standard case, which has the same cover as before, also the same in the back. And the cover is in fact reversible. So if you wanna turn it around, then you have this other version. And that is something that is a little bit of a shame of this, um, black cases from 4Ks. When you have a reversible cover, you normally don't see unless like you pull it out. Um, on the old Blu-rays, for example, right? The, the, the case was more transparent as it was easy to, to see through. So here is the disc. And then on the other side, there are some postcards and also this ad that has um, Carlito's way on the other side. So here we are presented with six postcards, which all of them have the same back. And then these are the postcards, which they are also very good quality. I think the paper is not that thin, so it looks actually uh, pretty nice. And, and the paper, although I try always to just to grab it by the edges, it doesn't feel like um, like it would get uh, fingerprints all over. So that's also very positive. And here's the last one. 
So moving on with the review, now we can focus on picture quality. So one of the first things to mention here is the comparison of this version against the Kino Lover release that also had a 4K. I haven't watched that version until I started doing the like the research for, for, for this video and there I found that the, the especially the color grading difference between these two versions is enormous on big favor of Arrow Video's version. I think that Kino Lover's uh, version looks much more opaque and sticky versus much more natural colors on the Arrow release. There are several videos on YouTube that compares both two versions. I will leave the link in the description for the one I found the best one, so you can also check it out. With that said, I think that the picture quality of this release is really outstanding. And it is an old film, right, that was filmed on, on film in, th in 35 millimeters. And the restoration preserves a lot of the original look, in including grain also in the, in the image. And with the colors being so natural in, in, in this transfer, together with sharper edges and, and better definition provided by the 4K resolution, I think that this transfer is very correct and it doesn't distort the original look. Another important thing to mention is that even though it's not mentioned here, this release comes with Dolby Vision, which again, I'm not sure why it's not mentioned here, but it's actually included. Now let's take a quick look over the bonus features because several of them are new. So it's a brand new audio commentary by critics Elizabeth Porkel and Caden Mark Gardiner. Another audio commentary by Tim Lucas. Then there is a new visual essay called Through Her Eyes. Another new one called Healing Humanity. Both of those made by, uh, by critics. Then there is an archival one called Breaking the Silence, which is a picture-in-picture -picture interview with a trivia track and several other archival things. I'm not going to go through the whole list for the sake of entertainment, but this also includes 22 deleted scenes, trailers, TV spots, image gallery, so on and so forth. So definitely a lot of entertainment here. Another important thing to mention about the bonus features is that they are present on both the 4K and the Blu-ray, so you can access all the content on either disc you're playing. As usual, the 4K disc is region free, but the Blu-ray is region B locked, so you need to be mindful of that if you're going to get this release. To finish, I normally like to mention other releases, and as I said before, there is a Kino Lorber 4K version also of The Silence of the Lamp. Between the two, I prefer this version way more, I think the, the colors feel much more natural, so I recommend this version over the other. And it is a considerable upgrade over the, the Blu-ray as well. Now, the Blu-ray from Kino Lorber to the 4K from Kino it's, uh, it's not that big of an improvement, although the color grading also changes, but the big difference happens when you compare against the Arrow video version. So again, my recommendation goes with this one. That was it for the review. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that you can find detailed pictures of the release on Instagram. And lastly, I would love to hear on the comments what do you think of this movie and if you have seen any other of the sequels. Thank you so much for watching and see you all at Okie Dogs.